there's arsenic in the rice you're eating every day. And in fact, there could be a considerable amount of arsenic depending upon the type of rice, how you cook it, and where it's from. And that's problematic because too much arsenic in someone's diet can lead to a lot of health issues like cancer, type 2 diabetes, and heart disease. So I guess the question is, why is there arsenic, which is a heavy metal, in rice? Well, it's kind of a two-fold answer. There's arsenic in your rice because number one, there's natural or organic ars arsenic in the ground we live in every day. Some regions of the world have more arsenic than other. We'll talk about that in a second. But number two, the big reason there's arsenic is because of pollution, uh, man-made pollution and chemicals, and modern-day farming. Modern-day farming has a lot of chemicals and pesticides, and that contributes to more uh, heavy metals like arsenic in the ground. And the problem is, rice is grown in water-saturated soil called a rice paddy, and because of that, it absorbs up to 10 times more heavy metals than any other grains. And you may, might be like, Bobby, that doesn't matter, you know, I don't, I don't eat white rice, I eat something like brown rice, right? Brown rice actually can have up to 80% more arsenic than white rice. The reason being, there's more exterior hull and bran and fiber on there, and that's where more arsenic goes, which is a bummer because brown rice has more nutrition than white right rice. Then you might say, Bobby, it doesn't matter, I eat something like organic rice right here. Organic doesn't mean anything when it comes to the amount of arsenic in there. So what does that mean? There are a couple ways to avoid the arsenic, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Go ahead. My bad, I'm holding you up. Step number one for avoiding arsenic is knowing where it comes from. And luckily, California doesn't know just how to party. They know how to make really good rice. This is a brand called Lundberg, which is really cool. But more importantly, when you look at the destination or the origin of the rice here, it's from California. California is probably number one in terms of low heavy metals in the entire world. And luckily we produce a lot of rice. So I'd highly recommend buying any kind of rice, not just this, that comes from California. Um, the problem with getting rice from a lot of developing countries is that they have a lot of pollution in their um, farming system, in their water, and that affects the uh, rice uh, growing a lot more. So I really like to stick to USA rice. There are places in Southeast Asia, but I'd rather stick to California. Um, Southern states like Texas are actually a bad place to get rice from because back in the day they used to do a lot of cotton farming there and cotton uses a ton of chemicals during the refinement process including arsenic and that's rich in the soil so I would avoid that. So knowing that you can get California rice, white rice is better. I'd still rather you get brown rice and I'll tell you how to rinse away some of that arsenic. There is a better rice to avoid 100% of heavy metals and arsenic and that is... Lundberg, Bill Lundberg from the office, right? Wild, wild and crazy guy rice. Now this is a wild blend. I don't see 100% wild rice. That's really one of the only rices I eat at home because wild rice is technically not a rice at all. It's not a grain, it's an aquatic grass, but it's qu uh, quantified or classified as a grain. And because it's a grass, it has zero heavy metals, it has zero pollutants, and when it comes to nutrition, it beats the pants out of any kind of rice because it has more fiber, more nutrition, and it's easier on your tummy to digest. It is a little more expensive, it takes about an hour to boil, but get wild rice. If you can't find it, a wild blend is a good place to start, but we're talking zero heavy metals in all wild rice. There is a way to rinse away up to 40% of the uh, arsenic in there. You have to wash your rice, something I never did, I was guilty of. But if you take one part rice to six parts water in a bowl with cold water and rinse it with your hand until the water is very cloudy, drain that and keep repeating those process until the water is completely clear, you're gonna rinse away a lot of the arsenic on there. You also clean the rice and you can reduce the amount of arsenic up to 40%, which is super duper cool. And if you want to uh, cook your rice, like you cook pasta in a lot of boiling water and then strain it afterwards, that will also reduce uh, and get rid of some of the arsenic in there too. Now, if you think about the rice on the shelf, that's one thing. But in the grocery store, there's so many products, including toddler products that have rice in there that could be alarming amounts of heavy metals. So let me just show you a couple you got to keep in mind. Rice milk is something I would never ever drink besides the arsenic. Rice milk doesn't have much nutrition. It's very starchy and carby, but because of the high levels of arsenic in rice, it can be super high in rice milk. I had to write this down. Levels can surpass 10 parts per billion, which is the maximum allowed in drinking water, which is really something you never want to put in your body. So swap out the rice milk with other kinds of uh, alternative milks. I recommend almond milk, but I have a video about drinking and buying almond milk because many of them on the store shelf are just gums and emulsifiers with no actual almonds in there. So search uh, 
Slave City Almond Milk on YouTube when this video is done. Uh, let's go check out the baby food super quick. Baby food and baby snacks and baby teethers almost always have a rice in there. And a lot of babies' first foods are rice, something I wouldn't do in general. But because of that, heavy metals and arsenic can be very high. Consumer Reports had a uh, report out that said uh, all three major brands of instant rice cereals that were tested, tested high in arsenic. And there was a report last month about alarmingly high heavy metals in a lot of baby food. Um, I'm going to do a follow-up to this about that. But I would avoid any uh, baby food with rice, especially white rice, because number one, it has no nutrition. It's got the arsenic, and you don't want to have rice like that in babies' foods below certain ages because their guts aren't ready for that. So be careful. Avoid all these teethers and foods and all that stuff with rice. You don't want it for many reasons, but of course you don't want it because of the arsenic. And you might be wondering, why does the government allow for elevated levels of arsenic or heavy metals in rice or heck in any food? That's because it's very low on their totem pole. They have bigger things they're going after, which is why stuff like this falls through the cracks. It reminds me of our expose about olive oil and avocado oil. If you're buying fake ones of those. Check those videos after this. They just don't have time for that. So now you know, and you know how to avoid it. If you're going to eat brown or white, or white rice, you can wash it away. But I really recommend swapping those out, going to the zero arsenic zero heavy metal wild rice, which by the way, tastes great, has way more nutrition. And I have a great recipe in our brand new five ingredient cookbook for wild rice, fried rice. That is fantastic. You're going to love it. So that is it for this expose. Please share it with your loved ones and your, fam and your family who eat a lot of rice. We got plenty more coming at you, but until then, hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace.